Degrees of Durville Martin, ladies and gentlemen, where I have two <coughs> actors that I will give to Vincent and he will have to connect them in six films or less to that other outstanding supporting actor mm -hmm. who outshined everyone in the 70s. Everybody. Everybody, except Pam Greer. That would be Durville Martin. Mm -hmm. And you have a lifeline, Vincent, okay. and Adele, ready there to help. All right, Adele, let's do this. <laughs> okay, okay. I'd, I'd love Adele's look, look. like I'm here for the review. All right, Vincent. All right. Keeping in theme. Keeping it theme. These are noted mm -hmm. black character slash supporting actors. Noted black character slash supporting actors. Yes. Okay. Number one. Number one. In six films or less. Six films or less. Connect Derville Martin to Brock Peters. Oh, Brock Peters. Well, this is how you get to Brock Peters fairly quickly, actually. Because Derville Martin is in Guess Who's Coming to Dinner with Sidney Poitier, who is in Porgy and Bess with Brock Peters. Well, that is just how it is done, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Look at him. Look at this man. I'm this beast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Are you not Very entertained? Very impressive. <laughs> Very impressive. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, they're right in the same cohort. They are. I think they probably had lunch together. All right. You ready for the next one? I am ready, but I'm not going to drop my guard because I feel like this is going to be the one. Mm -hmm. In six films or less, mm -hmm. connect Derville Martin to this graduate of Juilliard. La dee da. And ho dee do. Mm -hmm. One Leslie Uggams. Leslie Uggams. Well, here you go. <laughs> I'll be a little fancy with it. Oh, why don't you? Because Derville Martin, once again, is in Guess Who's Coming to Get Guess Who's Coming to Dinner with Sidney Portier, mm -hmm. who once again is in Porgy and Bess with Brock Peters. Yes. But Brock Peters is in Black Girl with Leslie Uggams. I missed that connection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I missed that connection. Double check that for me. That is Brock Peters in Black Girl. Let's see. That plays old girl's ex-husband. That is, in fact, Brock Peters. Okay. Yes. All right. There you go. I did, I was sure you were going to have to go to Deadpool. Get Go to Deadpool? Go to Deadpool with Leslie Uggams? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what else Leslie Uggams is in besides Black Girl. Because she really was more of, 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 of like a showgirl. Not showgirl. But entertainer, like a singer, yeah, kind of in, know? yeah, kind of, yeah. I think she had like, like a. You're right, because her you filmography know, like a, is relatively. Yeah, small. you know, she had like acts in Las Vegas and, the, mm. uh, you know, and I, I, I didn't, I didn't know that. So she was like, a, like a Lola Falana. She was in that Lola Falana, Diane Carroll kind of. I have Lena a, Horn. Lena, like I have a show. Really, I like we gonna I go to the, that. you know, like we're gonna go to the casino. And then tonight we're going to put on a tuxedo mm -hmm. and go to the Flamingo Room and go see Leslie Uggams. Wow. Yeah. Did you ever see her? I did not. Yeah. I'm I did not. Because I was not going to Las Vegas in 1957. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's been around for years. <laughs> yes. Since and did I see Leslie Uggams? Well, I mean, How old do you think I am? Well, I thought Lena Horne was doing Las Vegas right. in the 70s. Right, right, right. So right. I figured well, Leslie Uggams. Leslie Uggams. Because Leslie Uggams. Uh, maybe my parents were taking me as an infant to go see Leslie Uggams. No, I'm only saying. <laughs> what do you say about my parents? Well, you share. Let's go to the casino and take the infant with us. You share some stories about my <laughs> parents. I I'm just saying, looking at her, her filmography, right? Oh. Uh, she did, you mentioned uh, Black Girl in 1972. Yes. In 1975, she does Poor Pretty Eddie. Okay, I've never even heard of that. Me neither. Yeah. You don't see her again in film until 1993. Yeah. I'm she shows up you. in Sugar Hill. Yeah. Wow, I forgot she was in Sugar Hill. Me, me too. And even then, she's in Sugar Hill. She doesn't appear in films again, a feature film. 
until Deadpool in 2016. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, and it's not like she's an untalented woman. No, it's not like no. she's not a name. It's not like she's, you know, if, if she. I mean, why is it? I, I, I always wonder why wasn't she getting the roles like you know, dude, Cecily I, Tyson. Dude, I, I think we just said it. Like, I, yeah, and I love Leslie Uggams, but if. Like, I think Leslie Uggams is getting the phone calls after Cicely Tyson, after Diane Carroll, after Lena Horne. Like, I don't know how many phone calls Leslie Uggams is getting first. Oh, wow. After Lola Falana. Like, you named a lot of the reasons why you don't see Leslie Uggams. I would call Leslie Uggams before I call Lola Falana. I don't know if she's putting butts in the seats like Lola Falana. Okay. I'm just, look. Mm. Well, okay. All look. right. That's fair. That's fair. Lola Falana probably puts seats quicker than Leslie Uggams. Yeah, look, so, man. yeah, look. I, I, I hear look. you on that. This has been 70s and 60s multi hyphenate talk. <laughs> they're singers, they're dancers. Like, you know, because they had a show. Like, they sing a little bit, and then, you know, they tell some jokes like they had some banter. With the band, yeah, I, I get have you. banter, <laughs> you know, and sing some songs. I got, I know. get it. I get the idea right. of the show. I right. just think she should have made maybe some a dramatic riff. monologue uh, uh, about when she grew up. I don't know if they do dramatic. You know, when I was growing up and <laughs> to when I was seventeen. Right, no, I don't right, think, right, I don't right, think right. they're you know, doing that. Like banter. No, she's not doing that. And banter. And she's not. And no. then she sing a little bit. <laughs> They're like two dudes come out in tuxedos. They lift and her up. They, right, and they do a little dance number. Dance, like, like, like it's a little dance number. <laughs> you know, we do a little dance number. And then it's a show. And then, like, you know, they, they tell you you can have a fish or the prime rib. But you should get the prime rib. Because the fish is real shaky. You do sound like you had a front row seat. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I want to think so. You know? <laughs> sound like you were in your store like, you get like the prime rib and a baked potato <laughs> and some cream spinach. I wasn't giving no cream spinach in Vegas. It's like cream spinach comes with the prime rib and the baked potato. Nobody wants cream spinach with no prime rib. I feel like it was some um, cream spinach. No, it's no. kind of cool. No. no. What was the vegetable? That's probably just like a, probably just a garnish or something on top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no cream spinach. <laughs> cream spinach. No. You, you have like a big old hunk of no. cheesecake for dessert. It had like four martinis. And then she does a show. <laughs> then you go home to your wife's only hotel. 